وقولهم قلوبنا غلف فاطبع الله عليها بكفرهم فلا يؤمنون إلا قليلا وبكفرهم وقولهم على مريم فمتعنا عظيما وقولهم إنا المسيح عيسى مريم رسول الله وما قتلوه وما صلبوه ولكن شبه لهم وإن الذين اختلفوا فيه لفي شك منه ما لهم به من علم إلا اتباع الظن وما قتلوه يقينا بل رفعه الله إليه بل رفعه الله إليه وكان الله عزيزا حكيما وإن من أهل الكتاب إلا ليؤمنن به قبل موته ويوم القيامة يقول عليهم شهيدا فبذلم من الذين هادوا حرمنا عليهم طيبا وحلت لهم وبصدهم عن سبيل الله كثيرا صدق الله العظيم Ibrahim, Jazakallah Khairan. Ibrahim was one of the most dedicated volunteers who joined us in this trip. Barakallah Fik. We invite Dr. Tariq Kalfain, he is a volunteer blood specialist from IA Canada, to deliver a message on behalf of Inspired Food. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I will start my work by saying that INSPIRE program is the flagship of the IR Canada, Islamic Republic Canada. And this program now becoming a, a, you know, a mark for success because of you, because of your efforts. So starting, I would like to uh, highlight our beloved volunteers, brothers and sisters who came from Canada who you know paid lots of effort to fundraise and went through um, a very rigorous process of selection and training and fundraising and when they come when they go back and we, they, they, came, they came here here they also undertook our program like, like we we um, uh, delivered our program and then when we go back every one of them will be a messenger for Islamic Relief Canada and for charity work. So those volunteers will be change makers, will act as change maker through uh, you know, conducting um, projects, passion projects, to sensibilize and, um, uh, and mobilize donations and awareness between the local communities in Canada. So a round of applause, please, for those volunteers coming from Canada. Also because, you know, when we start, we start with volunteers, because that's not their, their daily job. So volunteers, they have to be, you know, like our focus for, you know, for uh, honoring and appreciating. So volunteers from South Africa as well, they were here all the time, all the time, day and night, you know, like welcoming us and also helping us execute our program, taking care of us every minute. And we would like also to thank, the, thank them. Uh, another round of applause, please. <laughs> so, supporting this program, starting from New York a long time, but this year they really, and also the, the, the previous one, they went above and beyond, and they were excellent in, in every single, you know, like detail of preparation. We would like, really, we cannot, we cannot reward them for that. But they know themselves and we know them and we always, you know, like feel confident that our programs in South Africa will be, because of those people, will be uh, in safe hands and will be successful as much as we can and even more than we expect. A round of applause for those people. <laughs> and we have the CEO, the, the directors of program, program and volunteers and, and finance and those people really, uh, uh, you know, much appreciated their efforts and we are indebted uh, to them. Inshallah, will be, um, you know, coming uh, again and again 
Uh, and, and as you know, Inspire Volunteers, Inspire program is growing. And as such, we, we, feel, we felt this, you know, like readiness and this, you know, professionalism in South Africa. We would, we would you know, aim to make it a hub for our uh, Inspire trips, inshallah, in the future this year. I would like to, uh, you know, like to welcome uh, our um, CEO, uh, Brother Yassin, and all the staff, uh, uh, you know, arriving here. I don't want to, to uh, repeat names or to say names and, you know, fearing that I forget anyone, but every one of you guys is in our hearts and in our minds. I will not forget you, forget you, inshallah. So, the next thing, I would like also to shout out to uh, two Inspire staff are not here today, but they are behind the scene working to, uh, you know, to prepare and to support our operations here and, and elsewhere. Noura Abdelal and Samia Khan, our, uh, our uh, uh, colleagues, Noura Abdelal and Samia, Samia Khan, please a round of applause to them. <laughs> I will conclude by uh, thanking you all and thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we came to an end because every start, you know, everything that starts has an end. And uh, likewise, the life, likewise, anything. But we will leave from here. We were not sad because we are, we are hoping that inshallah we'll, we'll come again and we we'll see you inshallah. And keep in touch. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa Before I leave, sorry. Before I, I leave, I, I, I really, this is the first time for me to meet Dr. Hani. Uh -huh. So, yeah, I, <laughs> so Dr. Hani was, well, you know, like uh, uh, the icon of Islamic religion. Uh, he, when, when we say Dr. Hani al-Banna, we, we are talking about the founder. Well, what, you know, what does it mean, a founder of 40, you know, uh, uh, a founder of an organization that, is, that exists in 40 countries? That's a huge thing. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not give it to anyone will give it only to those people that he subhanahu wa ta'ala felt their uh, you know their sincerity and dedication and alhamdulillah he is now with us and we hope that we will see him again and again inshallah uh, may allah bless you all assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh now we invite Rabbi yusuf muhammad for uh, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, everyone. Um, Jazakallah khair to Dr. Abdulmanim, Dr. Tariq, our brother Hamadi, and all of the IR Canada staff and volunteers that made this event and this 10 days possible. We started with thanks, and it's so appropriate that we end with thanks. We thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We thank every single person that played a role, small or big, Islamic Relief staff and volunteers, the Inspire volunteers that came from Canada to be here. SubhanAllah. If you think about it, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us an opportunity, as I said uh, when we met last week at Monday, to inspire and to be inspired. And I ask for each and every one of you to do one thing. And that is to open your mind and your heart to the possibility that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brought you here for some other reason that, than what you had thought. And for those that I had met over this last week and a bit, I, in my interaction I always ask you the question, is it what you expected or was it more than what you had, had expected? And everyone that I had spoken to told me it was so much more or at least more than what they had expected it to be. And this journey of life that we are on, each and every one of us, we all are given a limited time to acquire as much as what we can for the ultimate meeting with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the time that you spent here, the lives that you touched, the impact that you have had, when you return to Canada,